Welcome to the Artistic Podcast with Annie. Today we'll have a special guest, John Francis Palacios. He's here to share us his story about arts. John is a junior student from the International Program on Communication Production at Isho University, Taiwan. He's very passionate and talented in performing. He also acted, hosted, and directed various shows from musical to beauty pageants in both Philippines and Taiwan. Please welcome John. Hi, John. Welcome to the show. Hi, Annie. Thank you so much for having me in your show. I'm so excited. Yes. So we have prepared a few questions to ask you today. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I am ready. First question. Why did you decide to pursue arts? When I first watched my first ever theater show, it really inspired me. And plus, when I asked my mom about my college, I asked her, what should I pursue? Should I pursue the engineering one so I could stay in the Philippines? And then she told me, wait, you're stupid in math, right? So I said, oh. Oh, then I will pursue communication production. That's the story. Wow. <laughs> so does that mean your family also support you to pursue arts? Yes, I'm really grateful that they, they've been very supportive ever since. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Second, where did you have your first performing or acting experience? My first ever acting experience was when I was in seventh grade. I tried to audition for a role in the theater club. And then I got in. It was just a very small role. It's for the Aladdin musical. It was a great um, experience for me. I've learned a lot. And yeah, because of that, I fell in love more with arts and theater. So ever since high school, you've been doing arts. Yes. And yes. right now into the university, you're also doing arts with yes. the International Performing Arts Society. Yes. So why do you think it's important to have such community? Ever since I've stepped into Isho, I never really saw um, a group of students, like international students, who's into art. So I was not really able to express myself well. And I was lucky enough to like find you guys because I think that Isho has a lot of international students who has a lot of skills and talents. We needed a platform. That's where iPass comes in. And I think it's very important. I also feel very lucky that all of us having the same passion, just coming into Isha at the same yes. time. Yes. It's like destiny. Yes, yes. Destiny. destiny. Yeah. You choose uh, to pursue communication production for mm. a university. Yes. How does it help you in your career? I think it helped me. Uh, in so many ways. I never really knew how to hold a camera before, but now I'm not an expert, but I know how to handle it already uh, compared before. And not just that one, but also like pre-production, the planning, the script writing, and also especially the post-production, the editing one. I never really knew how to edit videos before, but then now I was able to use Premiere that's because um, a lot of professors guided me. So I think it's really a helpful thing. Mm, so it's like a very safe environment for you to learn. Yes, okay. safe environment for me to learn. You're not going to really be afraid to make mistakes because like people will be there to help you correct it. Yes. Yes. As you're interested in musical mm. and also you're doing filming. Yes. So between musical live production and film production, which one do you prefer? Oh no, that's that's a hard uh, decision to make because I love musical. At the same time, filming film production, it's really interesting. I, I want to be an actor too, so it's like I want to be both in front of the camera and behind the camera. I would mix the two. I would mix the two. So it's like you're gonna film a live film. Production. Yes, correct. Film a live production, live musical, or just like Beyonce, or like just like Grease. Um. Yeah, the live production. That's really interesting. Cause like when you when you look at musicals, it's always live, yeah. right? It's live. But now, live, and also filmed, and then broadcasted to all over the world. Like that's really special. That's another thing. It's extraordinary. Praise to all the people on and off the camera who's able to do that one. It's it's mind-blowing. Yes, I also think so. It's very 
Yeah. Yeah. Speechless, right? Yes. When you know the process of filming that one, yeah. Yes. You're a big fan of Beyonce, right? Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, how does she influence you on a way of becoming a future artist? Wow. Future artist. <clears throat> okay. Claiming it, manifesting. I think one thing is to go big or go home. Because ever since, whenever I see her productions, it's just magical, mind blowing. Like, how did she do that? Like, what? That's one thing I learned about her to really go big, to go extra. Because before, like when it comes to high school productions, they always tell me that I'm too extra. But hey, am I extra or are you just basic? Ah, that one. Yeah, so I mean, just focus on your craft and focus on yourself. Don't compete with other people, compete with yourself. Yeah. Okay. So Beyonce really influenced you a lot. Yes, a lot. And the lessons that I've learned from her, I, I always apply that to my everyday life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So what if you get to meet Beyonce? In <gasps> what, would, what is the first thing you will tell her? First, I'm gonna faint for like 30 seconds. But I think uh, two words. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring so many people. Not just my generation, but the generations before and the next generation. And I want her to be my mom. <laughs> yes. Well, well, we hope <laughs> your wish can come true. Yes. <laughs> Beyonce, if you hear this. Please come to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, our last question for you. Where do you see yourself three years from now? As I've said, go big or go home. I'll be in New York, mm. maybe performing on Broadway, maybe releasing my album, maybe a accepting an, a Grammy or an Oscar, or maybe the first ever Filipino to be an EGOT, Emmy. I'm just manifesting positive energy and positive dreams. I'm, I'm thinking too much, but there's nothing wrong with dreaming uh, too big. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Thank you so much, Jan, for being here with us today. That yes. was very fun. Thank you so much also for letting me share my story because you have your own story. So tell it to the world. Wow. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank Jan. you, Annie.